Attention passengers, Ian here with another Pokemon black and white battle. <clears throat> <clears throat> this time with uh, Tremafant. His link will be in the description. And yeah, so this is my first real RU on RU team battle. And if I didn't make it clear, RU stands for rarely used. So we're both using rarely used pokes. So here we go. Hope you enjoy. I'm going to lead with my dubstep, my hypno. He's going to lead with his Clefable. And I'm going to go right for the protect just to see what he's doing. And looky there, you're just like me, Clefable. You're going to go for the seismic toss. So I'm going to switch out into my doorstop. And I don't know, this this kind of turned out to be like not the best switch in I could have done. Because uh, he, he starts seismic tossing me. And no matter my defense, seismic toss will always do 100 damage. So I'm hoping my sub will be able to survive a seismic toss, and it does, so that's great. And because uh, now I'm behind the sub, and Doorstop loves to be behind the sub. And he's just going to soft boil up, but knowing that it's a losing battle, I'm just going to keep attacking from behind my sub, and I'm just going to get my leftovers back. And he's going to realize this sooner or later that I'm just going to eventually win this stall war. And he's going to switch out. But in the meantime, I'm just going to keep quaking. Quake does even more than Stone Edge. It's reliable. So he's going to switch out. Go into his little moon rock. Forget his name. Doesn't matter. I'm going to go for the Stone Edge on the switch. And Booyah does over half. Door stop, you killer. However, he goes for the Reflect here. Boo! But a super effective Mega Horn will be more than enough to take him out. So, woohoo. Looking good. Got my foot in the door and ready to roll. He sends out his tentacle here. Goes for the Scald. It's going to break my sub. However, I go for the Earthquake, which turns out is super effective. Kind of was just going on the gamble there. Not sure if the water would nullify the super effectiveness, but it doesn't. tentacruel has got frail defenses, so he's going to go down. Go down. And he's going to go back into his Clefable and ooh... Didn't see this coming. He switches me the uh, flame orb, and I'm going to miss my stone edge. So that's annoying. And I get the burn. Annoying. And this allows him to go out into his crank. And my stone edge isn't going to do diddles. And he's going to set up the sub, but I go for the earthquake. And will it be able to break his sub? No, it does not. But the reflect wears off, so... My time in the sun has arrived. I'm going to seize the day here, go for another earthquake, knowing that without the reflect, my burn will probably not be enough to... Alright, let me rephrase that. I will be able to take out a sub, even though I'm burned. It crits. Don't know if that mattered. Actually, I do, because I'm able to take out a sub again. And uh, he's going to go for the earthquake here, and I'm just going to let him finish him off so I can come back in with my skinny kid and my skinny kid does not mess around in this battle I go right off the bat with the leaf blade knowing it'll take him out because skinny kids fastest mofo on the playground but uh, now I'm gonna switch out go into my ride on and uh, he's gonna yawn and this is good because my ride on secretly holding the chesto berry I know this he doesn't so I'm just gonna start cursing up and uh, he sits up his rocks but I am not concerned because my chest though battery supreme wakes me up. Hooray, more cursing. So at this point I have two curses up. I'm pretty slow. And that's a bummer. However, I'm going to be able to waterfall whatever he does. Whatever he switches in. And he switches in his Clefable. And his Clefable takes a waterfall. Right in his Kissa. Right in the mouth. Right in the mouth, Clefable. And, uh, but now I'm sleeping. Sleeping for reals. And he sends out his Moltres, and I'm just going to go back into my Dubstep. And Dubstep proceeds to clean up his carcass. Oh, man. Hypno, my new favorite buddy. He takes a Flamethrower nicely, takes this Air Slash very nicely, and I'm able to get a T-Wave off. So, ho dickens, this is good. I'm in a great position now, because now I can just wish up. And his air slash I do not have to worry about his air slash flinching me at all because I am indeed faster and I go for the protect he gets the parahax doesn't matter because my wish heals me up and oh dubstep you rock my socks 
Now I can just go for the seismic toss, confident that whatever he does will die. And I'm just going to keep seismic tossing. Kind of boring, but, you know, it's dubstep music. He's got the wobble step. I find dubstep music kind of, you know, hypnotizing, so why not seismic toss everything? If you were on the dance floor, wobbling around at him dubstep music, some guy just comes over and seismic tosses your face in, what would you do? Question of the day. I'd probably call Joe Pesci. That's my first instinct. And I switch into Joe Pesci thinking... I want to spice it up. I want to go for the Joe Pesh KO. But he doesn't let me. He yawns me. And I'm confident that... I mean, he can't... He, he can't yawn my uh, Hypno, as you see. Hypno's got insomnia. He can't sleep ever, but... You know, he should... He should have a soothing bedtime routine. Maybe that would help him sleep. I don't know. Regardless of my hypno sleeping patterns, this is basically going to be the end of the battle. I'm just going to keep seismic tossing. So great battle, Tremophant. Go to his channel. He's a great person. Awesome battler. And uh, rate, comment, like, subscribe if you liked this video or any other videos. Um, yeah. Have a great day. Fresh pickles. You should make some. Nobody makes homemade pickles anymore. Peace out.